A single mole rat colony can spread over an area the size of 15 football fields. Up to 300 animals work together in the almost mile-long tunnels and chambers. Their large population lets them exploit distant food sources. No one knows how they figure out in which direction to burrow. Small volcanoes erupting from where the animals unload their soil. If you don't understand what an animal is doing in its natural habitat, then you don't truly understand any of the other things. You may know what percentage hemoglobin, you may know which molecules are in the muscle cells, but you'll never understand why unless you really understand what the animal's doing in its habitat. Observing naked mole rats is not easy. They seldom appear on the surface because predatory snakes and raptors lurk there. Only when they dig do they reveal themselves and give Browdy the chance to begin his investigation. He marks the burrows with color to see if the same animals always carry out the digging work. The researchers want to know if the mole rats are assigned certain tasks in the colony. Many animals excavate together to find food, but not everyone pitches in. One clan member stands out from the rest. Like a lot of other burrowing animals, they live in large colonies. Many mammals are social. However, this is not, this is not social like a mammal. This is social like an insect, like an ant with one queen breeding for the entire group. No other mammal works this way. Only one female produces offspring for the entire colony. She is the mother of the nation. All of her subjects are also her children. They develop later into babysitters, workers, soldiers, and perhaps also a new queen. Everyone serves their leader to assure her long and fertile life. <laughs> 